good morning to all of you in today's class we will discuss different types of window techniques which are available to design fir filters okay already in the yesterday's class the previous class we have discussed what is a window and what a, what is the necessity of a window and also what are the desirable properties of windows right window is a uh, it is a method or it is a function which is used to truncate the impulse response uh, infinite impulse response of a filter smoothly at some specific value of frequency right so when you truncate the sequence abruptly what happens is you will get the oscillations in the pass band and stop band so to avoid these oscillations in the pass band and stop band we use the window function so when you multiply or when you weigh when you weigh this infinite impulse response by this window function then that resultant function have a smooth transition from pass band to stop band you will have a minimum number of oscillations in the pass band and stop band so therefore filter function or filter uh, window function is a uh, it is a a function which is used to weigh the infinite impulse response of any filter any uh, filter like that so now we have a coming to this different types of window functions first one we have different functions like a rectangular window triangular or bar like window right hanging window hanging window geyser window there are different types of windows are also there but these are primary windows which we are going to discuss okay and in this discussion what you have to remember is how this different uh, window functions are defined what is its frequency response and if we have to remember these uh, equations to design the fir filter problem we have to remember a simple equations we will see that first coming to the rectangular window rectangular window means it looks like this in time domain in time domain see the window function is represented by as in the wn especially wr r for rectangular and this is n the rectangular function or rectangular window looks like this this is 0 plus 1 plus 2 plus 3 and so on this side minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 like this you know <coughs> like this and it is limited in this case we say that number of samples in the window is 7 total so minus 3 to plus 3 means 0 is also included so therefore total number of samples are 7 that is we say that length length of the window also so therefore 1 1 1 all these amplitudes are 1 that is why we say this is in the time domain now we will see what is the rectangular window so rectangular window w r of n is equal to 1 from minus n minus from minus of n minus 1 by 2 to n minus 1 by 2 okay where n is the length of the window so this capital n suppose you see here capital n is 7 okay so 7 minus 1 6 by 2 3 minus 3 for this example it is from minus 3 less than or equal to n less than or equal to So seven minus one six six by two is three. So therefore, you can get from the figure. So from what is the meaning of this? From minus suppose if n is equal to seven minus three to plus three, you will have the constant magnitudes. Okay, that is the rectangular window in time domain. And corresponding function you see, w r of n is equal to one from minus half n minus one by two less than or equal to uh, n less than or equal to n minus one by two. Zero otherwise. Remaining at all other locations, the magnitude is zero here. Also, the magnitude is zero. So this is what is the rectangular window. Okay. Whenever you have infinite impulse response, just that infinite impulse response you multiply by this rectangular window function, then it smoothly transits from one band to another band. Otherwise, oscillations in the pass band and stop band are reduced. So now this is. 
time domain function and wr of e power j over that is the frequency domain or frequency response so that frequency is same thing right so we try to find out see sigma n is equal to minus n minus 1 by 2 to plus n minus 1 by 2 so this one what is this one so one is the magnitude of the or amplitude of the each impulse okay e power minus j omega n just if you simplify that if you simplify it so e power minus j omega n so this is a limited value means it is a finite series because from minus 3 to plus 3 only we have the function so in that case you will get sin omega by 2n and sin omega by 2 so you will get this function if you closely observe this function it is like a sinc function sin x by x sin pi x by pi x it is a sinc x in that way it is represented sin omega by 2 at n divided by sin omega by 2 so this is a omega not w whereas this is w window w for window r for rectangle rectangular window so therefore sin omega by 2 n divided by sin omega by 2 and this is the so sampling function that a sinc function and this is called major main lobe or major lobe so where the magnitude is maximum and the side lobes are slowly reducing its magnitude ok this is about a rectangular window rectangular window so now coming to the triangular window or quadrant window triangular window means it looks like this triangular window so if you plot it the triangular window you will get uh, a time domain function like this n so here you have a maximum then a slight decrement slight decrement further decrement further decrement further decrement yeah. so this side also symmetrically you will have the samples like this okay. so it is in the shape of triangle 0 1 2 3 4 5 so like this and minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 minus 4 minus 5 like this okay so uh, uh, the time domain function okay, wp of n t for triangular window t for triangular window so therefore 1 minus 2 mod n divided by n minus 1 and same limits are same n minus minus n minus 1 by 2 to plus n minus 1 by 2 okay, the limits are always for every function limits are same so therefore so this is a triangular window and its frequency response sin n minus 1 by 4 into omega divided by sin omega by 2 so the only difference is n minus 1 by 4 this is a new term we are getting instead of n uh, by 2 we are getting n minus 1 by 4 that is the difference and whole square is there we know that for a triangular for a rectangular function the frequency spectrum or Fourier transform is a sinc function for a triangular function the frequency spectrum or frequency domain spectrum is so a sinc square function that is why you are getting square here and also now uh, we can see different uh, uh, so sinc square means you will get like this you need not to have this just you, you try to understand what is this this is the spectrum of so ht of e power j omega okay. that like that you have next one Hanning window so hn hn this suffix hn is for and in window so this region of n is equal to 0.5 plus 0.5 plus 2 pi n by m these are computed results direct results we are using to design the filters so from where this is coming means so that is not our part just we must have a this formula we have to remember this formula so 0.5 plus 0.5 plus 2 pi n by n minus 1 for this range same range again and zero otherwise remaining all other locations the magnitude response is zero. So one thing you remember is always 0 0.5 plus 0 0.5. In that just it is for to remember the things. 0 0.5 plus 0 0.5 it becomes one. Like that you can uh, remember it. Right? Cos 2 pi n by n minus one. Okay. So this this thing you have to remember. Cos 2 pi n by n minus one. Next having window. So h suffix h of n that is for having. So HM is the Hamming HM H is for Hamming window. So now again you see 
zero point five four plus zero point four six. Again, it is one. So in that sense, you can remember in that way. So zero point five four plus zero point four six cos two pi n by n minus same same factor. This multiplication factor is same. Cos two pi n by n minus one range is also same. Right? And zero otherwise. So in that way, so having window means zero point five plus zero point five. Having window means zero point five four plus zero point four six. Like that, we have to remember. Okay, so these are the four different windows. Uh, generally, most of the times you get the questions from this. Either you will get from hanging window, mostly hanging window, a triangular window. Sometimes you may get hanging window also. Now this is filter characteristics, a low pass filter characteristics, low pass filter characteristics. Ideal low pass filter. Now see. At this is the frequency axis. At omega is equal to zero, we must have a gain of one for low pass filter. And above the cut off omega C is the cut off frequency. Above uh, above the cut off frequency, we must have the attenuation maximum and gain is zero. But practically, even if you design with a very sharp cut off frequency, also you will have some uh, ripples. Some attenuation will be there. Means above this one and below the one. That one plus delta, one minus delta. This delta is a factor. This delta is a factor which deviates from the original value. And here also delta. The delta is in the stop band. Stop band. So delta is the attenuation in the pass band in stop band. One plus delta is the maximum value that can go above the one. One minus delta is the minimum value that can go below the one. This is the gain and this is the frequency. So therefore, gain gain must be one in the pass band, must be zero in the stop band. But because of the practical uh, approaches, so gain is gain may may increase up to one plus delta and it may fall to one minus delta. So therefore, delta is the parameter by which the original characteristics deviates from its original location. Okay, now uh, next we will see a problem uh, on the designing of FIR filter using some triangular window. Okay. A triangular window. Uh, see, such type of problems you will get in the examination. So you have to practice it because many steps are involved in this. We have to remember some formulas, design specific formulas. Okay. Now mostly we are getting. If you see the previous question papers, we are getting the low pass filter. Design problems, or I pass filter, low pass, or I pass filter design problems. Okay, this is this problem is on the low pass filter design. Okay, now see design. I will read out the problem. You know, down design an FIR low pass filter satisfying the following parameter specifications. Alpha p, alpha p is the pass band ripple. That alpha p must be less than or equal to 0.1 dB. So pass band ripple must be very small always. So the pass band ripple must be small. So it must be like this. So this is the example. If you assume it is a generally it is a low pass filter. So in the pass band the ripple must be very small, very small. So already we have seen one plus delta, one minus delta. It must be very small. Delta must be very very small. Okay, that is the meaning of so alpha p. Alpha p is the pass band ripple that must be 0.1 dB, and alpha s stop band ripple is very much greater. You see 44 dB. So in the pass band, the alpha must be uh, that delta is very very small. That is the stop band ripple must be a stop band attenuation. Okay, stop band attenuation is very high. Pass band attenuation is very low. In the pass band, the attenuation is very low. So, and this omega p is the pass band frequency. That is a 20 radians per second. Omega s is the stop band frequency. This is the sampling frequency. So, omega s f 100 radians per second. Now, coming to this. Now, this is the problem. So, we have to design a FIR finite impulse response low pass filter. For these specifications, such type of problems only will get in the exams. Now we will see one by one, step by step procedure. 
So this step by step procedure also sometimes you will get uh, in the examination. Like uh, write the step by step procedure to design an FIR filter. So you have to write down the general specifications. Suppose here it is specifically given. Some specifications are given. General procedure is also I have written the formulas also. You have to write only general formulas when you are given. Write the steps present in the designing of FIR filter means as you have to follow the general formulas. Now we will see step by step. First step you find out the transition width. Transition width means it is the width in which filter transfer function moves from one band to another band. Example see just now we have seen that this is the pass band it is a stop band in the pass band from pass band to stop band suddenly it will not come down it takes some time to come to the stop band so therefore the where it is actually stop band is starting and when it reaches the stop band that gap is called transition band that so therefore omega s and this is the omega p so therefore omega s minus omega p is the transition width of the characteristics that is 30 radians per second omega s stop band and pass band is 20 total so result is 10 radians per second okay this you have to find out the transition width and the cutoff frequency so in between we will have a cutoff frequency and cutoff frequency that cutoff frequency is half means average of the omega p omega s omega s plus omega p by 2 okay, that is the average of the these two frequencies stop band frequency and pass band frequency so therefore 20 plus 30 50 by 2 25 radians per second okay and if you want to find out the uh, omega c to t so therefore the t is nothing but 2 pi by omega so you can multiply that you can do that if you want if you want to find out that uh, value okay, now this, these are the basic things we need to design the low pass filter if omega s minus omega p find out the transition width and find out the cutoff frequency where uh, cutoff frequency means we know that it is a frequency specific specifically for low pass filter cutoff frequency is the frequency up to which all frequencies are allowed and above which all frequencies are not allowed uh, simply block that now step one in the step one what you have to do is this is the frequency response frequency response of low pass filter see h of e power j omega is equal to 1 for mod omega less than or equal to pi by 2 which means from minus pi by 2 to plus pi by 2 from minus pi by 2 to plus pi by 2 the frequency response you will have a constant magnitude like this from minus uh, pi by 2 to plus pi by 2 this is h of e power j omega that is the meaning of that and from pi by 2 to 2 pi this side and minus 2 pi on the left hand side so it is 0 it is simply 0 so you have to understand that right it is a low pass filter characteristics and from minus pi by 2 to plus pi by 2 it is its magnitude is constant and from minus pi by 2 to minus 2 pi plus pi by 2 to plus 2 pi plus pi by 2 to plus 2 pi it is 0 like this so that is the low pass filter that first of all we have to identify what is the frequency response of a given filter low pass filter why you are taking we have to design the low pass filter so therefore h of e power j omega is equal to 1 for mod omega less than or equal to pi by 2 which means minus pi by 2 to plus pi by 2 mod if you take a minus you will get minus pi by 2 if you take plus here generally pi by 2 and 0 otherwise from this period because see in the digital domain it is a periodic after every 2 pi radians per second okay, now see this hd hd of n this is the impulse response of the desired filter impulse response of the desired filter so here that hd of n it is like calculating the inverse uh, discrete Fourier transform of this. So therefore, HD defer desired impulse response of the filter desired 
okay required so therefore 1 by 2 pi so minus 5 by 2 to plus 5 by 2 what is the magnitude 1 right so this is the magnitude so what is the formula to find out the inverse Fourier transform 1 by 2 pi minus infinity to plus infinity h of omega e power minus e power j omega sorry this is not plus j omega n because it is inverse Fourier transform it is e power j omega n so now what is this one this one is the magnitude of the filter in this range minus 5 by 2 to plus 5 by 2 because we have to design the uh, fire of a pass filter and if you simplify that uh, by substituting e power actually if you integrate what you will get here so e power j omega n by this is a uh, minus infinity to infinity e power j omega n d omega you get that so therefore if you integrate that what you will get so e power j omega n by j n you will get j n if you substitute the limits in the for omega minus 5 by 2 to plus 5 by 2 you will get this answer okay how we got this answer you integrate this with respect to omega and you substitute the limits limits minus uh, lower limit minus pi by 2 and upper limit pi by 2 you will get sin pi by 2 n by pi n okay so this is first step identifying or deriving a desired filter impulse response okay so high pass filter means limits will change okay 0 up to this and after this we will have 1 2 pi to 2 pi we will see that in the next class now delta 1 so this delta 1 delta delta 1 these are some specifications so we, to find out the delta value means allowable deviation or allowable ripple in the pass in stop band so delta 1 is 10 power minus 0 0.05 alpha s so you have to remember these formulas okay delta 1 is equal to 10 power minus 0 0.05 alpha, alpha s where alpha s is the 44 db alpha s is the 44 decibels and if you substitute that and if you simplify you will get this answer alpha s is the 44 db and uh, 10 power minus 0 0.05 into 44 you will get this 6.039 uh, 3096 10 power minus 3 and the alpha 2 alpha 2 is so 10 power 0 0.05 alpha p minus 1 divided by 10, 10 power 0 0.05 alpha p plus 1 and alpha p is the pass band attenuation of pass band ripple so that is uh, what is alpha p so 0 0.1 db so therefore wherever alpha p is there substitute 0 0.1 that's it so 0 0.1 means what divided by 10 so then it becomes 0 0.005 here also 0 0.005 10 power 0 0.005 minus 1 divided by 10 power 0, 0, 0 0.005 uh, plus 1 and if you simplify that you will get uh, this value and how to choose alpha how to choose delta right delta this is the pass band ripple uh, and uh, stop band uh, function and the minimum value of alpha and alpha 2 is selected as a delta so out of these two the minimum is this one 5.756 to 10 power minus 3 so that is why we have chosen uh, delta is equal to 5.7563 to 10 power minus 3 because so you find out alpha 1 and alpha 2 choose the minimum value of both and after that alpha s yes, stop band attenuation we have to find out that is minus 20 log of uh, delta base 10 okay so this delta we have chosen here just to substitute the delta here to find out the alpha s alpha s and after that you find out alpha this alpha for different ranges will be having a different formula so alpha in this range see for a star this alpha s 44 db see you are getting above so 44.797 almost 44.8 uh, db so whenever alpha is above some 40, 40 db so we have to use this formula i will tell you so where to use this formula suppose if it is less than that what is the formula just i will tell you but whenever so alpha is having some uh, value like 44.8 we have to use this formula okay alpha is equal to use this alpha s 
so 0.5842 alpha s minus 21 power 4 0.07886 into alpha s uh, minus 21 alpha s minus 21 and you will come across this value 0 3.9542 if you substitute alpha s this value and if you simplify that you will get this answer and after, that is the fourth step means uh, suppose in general procedure what you have to do is if you, are, if you are asked to write the general procedure so you have to write down this formula only you need not substitute this right whenever you are designing the problem you have to use this approach next fifth step is the, the parameter D this parameter is alpha s minus 7.95 by 14.36 this is a fixed answer for low pass filter design so that you will get 2.566 Okay, you have to remember this formula. Next, we have to find out the order of the filter. Okay, order of the filter M. M is greater than or equal to omega SF. It is given omega SF here into D, whatever the factor we calculate here, divided by transition width plus 1. Okay, that this, these factors, this omega SF, transition bandwidth, and D, these are used to calculate the order of the filter. So, transition uh, sampling frequency omega SF is 100 is given into 2.566 D factor is 2.566 and transition width okay, this transition width is 10 radians per second and if you calculate that you will get 26.66 so N must be greater than or equal to 26.66 which means N suppose if you get some integer here just you can take that otherwise just you go for higher value you cannot go for lower value so you have to go for higher value so higher value is next time next to digit value is 27 okay so in this way we calculate the order so now the order we got 27 so therefore the filter which you are asked to design it must have a 27 order order number is 27 for that filter now what is given again so we have to use a triangular window to design this low pass filter, FIR low pass filter we have to use a triangular window so now, so these steps and up to 6th step these are somewhat you have to remember it remaining are easy up to 6th step you have to remember the formula somewhat, somewhat good formula so you have to remember them and after this we have to use a triangular window we know already we have seen at the beginning of this class what is a triangular window so WTN is equal to 1 minus 2 mod N by N minus 1 in the range of N minus 1 minus N minus 1 by 2 less than or equal to N N minus 1 by 2. Okay, this is the range. Okay, this is the range. Now what is N minus 1 by 2? Here N is 27. N 27 means N minus 1 26. N minus 1 by 2 means 13. So therefore, we have to design a filter from minus 30 to plus 13. Okay, n minus 1 is 26. 26 by 2 is 13. So therefore, we have to design a FIR filter which is having a response, a filter response, a filter characteristics from minus 13 to plus 13 in order to get an order of order of the filter is 27. So now. I will write some values then you can go for the remaining calculations first see wt of 0 what it becomes wt of 0 1 minus 2 mod 0 divided by what is n n is 27 minus 1 27 minus 1 26 so therefore 1 minus 0 numerator is 0 so you will get 1 ok so the first quotient or first window function value is 1 Next, omega t1, omega t1, and also omega t minus 1. Both are same because you are having mod value here, and also even if you see the a triangular window, at 0 you will have the amplitude, at 1 you have the amplitude here, same value will be there at minus 1 also. At minus 2 you will have some magnitude, same value is at there at minus 2 also. So like this, symmetrically, whatever the value is there at n is equal to 1, 
same value will be there at n is equal to minus 1. So whatever the value is present, magnitude value means magnitude or amplitude of the impulse present, same thing will be repeated even for negative values of a and b. So therefore omega t of minus 1, what is this omega t of minus 1? 1 minus 2 mod 1 divided by 26. 27 minus 1 means 26. So now what is this value? 1 minus 2 into 1. So then what you will get? Uh, it is minus 1 by 26. Okay, minus 1 by 26. So like that you can get uh, for different values of This is see, 1 minus 2 into mod 1 divided by 26. So only this you see this formula you can understand 2 into 1 by 2 into mod 1 by so 26. So therefore what you will get 1 minus 2 by 26. This is equal to 26 minus 2 divided by 26. So therefore 24 by 26. 24 by 26, you will get approximately 0 0.318. Like that, you can extend C omega t is equal to omega t of 2 omega t of minus 2. You substitute n is equal to 2, then you can continue it up to where uh, up to uh, which value you have to continue is so omega t of 13 and omega t of minus 13, both are same. You have to continue. So then what you will get that? 1 minus 2 into 13, 1 minus 2 mod 13, mod 13 actually for negative numbers divided by 26. So then you will get all the values. Uh, so 24 by 26 you will get some value, you will write down that. And like that, so you go for up to 13, omega t 13, omega t minus 13. Actually this 24 by 26 is not 0 0.318, it is different value. Actually, I have uh, uh, previously told you that, but 24 by 26 across could be 0.8 or something, so you can go ahead and you find out the, all the values from omega t 0 to omega t 13 and you make it as a table like this. What is the table? So, n value m n and other side is that omega t of n, like that you find out for different values of n, you find out the omega t n. And after calculating that, we have to find out the what is the desired filter transfer function, the desired filter impulse response for different values of n. Because you know the range of n, the range of n is from 0 to 13, right side. Okay. So therefore, you find out uh, substitute n is equal to 0. So sin pi n 0 by pi n. Sin 0 by 0. So you can use the n hospital rule. So then you will get if you, you will get 0 0.5. And like that up to so sign one uh, this uh, yeah H D of one is zero point three one eight H D of two uh, two you will get because see sign two sign pi by two into two sign pi by two into two divided by pi n okay so this uh, two will two will uh, this two and two get will cancel and here also n is two right so sine pi is we know that sine pi value is zero like that so alternatively you may get the, those values and up to 13 you can extend n value you increase from 0 to 13 you find out all these values in between after 5 i have not written the values just you substitute the n value 6 uh, 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 you will get the hd of n after calculating this hd of n what you have to do is already wtn is there okay wtn is this function sir from 0 to 13 we have the WTN and the WTN HD, uh, HD of N is also there from 0 to 13 you multiply each and every value suppose see HD of first uh, suppose if you take HD of 0 if you want to calculate HD of 0 or H, H of 0 okay? H of 0 is the impulse response HD of 0 into WT of 0. So H of 1, HD of 1, WT1. Okay, like that you continue up to H of 13, H13, 
that is ht 13 wt 13 okay last value so just you make everything as a table then you will get some value this is a one value this is another value so therefore if you multiply two values generally you will get some a fixed value and like that you have to continue up to h 13 and after calculating h 13 these are the values or quotients required to design the Laplace filter and after calculating that so this is the formula to, to find out the Tasso function so Tasso function hz digital filter digital Laplace filter Tasso function is so z power minus actually the formula is n minus 1 minus n minus 1 by 2 so minus n minus 1 by 2 means here n is what is capital N? Capital N is 27. We, we got somewhere. Capital N is equal to 27. The 27 minus 1, 26 by 2 is 13. So therefore, minus n minus 1, z power minus n minus 1 by 2, h0, h0 plus sigma n is equal to 0 to same n minus 1 by 2. So 26 by 2, that is 13. Because see, n value is 27, we know that. So therefore, we have to take n is equal to 0 to 13. n minus 1 by, see, actually n minus 1 by 2 means 27 minus 1 by 2. That is uh, 26 by 2, that is 13. 13. So therefore, based on the filter, these values gets modified. Filter dimension, order. So these limits will change. We have to understand. This is a 13. Here also 13. Z power, Z power n plus Z power minus n. Okay. So this is the required digital filter transfer function after uh, having different steps to design the filter. Okay. In this way. So therefore after calculating. Now see you can change the n value from 0 to 13. So when n is 0, Z power 0, Z power plus Z power minus 0. When n is 1, z power 1, z plus z power minus 1. Up to 13 you have to write it. And in short, we write this general formula. So this is the what they are asking. Design an FIR Laplace filter satisfying the following parameter specifications. We have followed all the parameter specifications and we have calculated the desired filter transfer function HD of n. After that, we have calculated what is the window uh, function that is WT, WT of n. And we have multiplied both of them, HD of n, WTN. And after multiplying, we got the values for H of n. And we are using the H of n here. Okay. So in this way, we have to design the uh, low-pass filter, FIR low-pass filter for given the given specifications. Okay. In the next class, we will see FIR uh, high-pass filter, how to design an high-pass filter for the given specifications. Maximum. See, so, so our other point is. Another point is, we just we are using a, a triangular window here. Triangular window. Suppose having window, if you are using a having window, the difference is, so instead of triangular window function, we have to use a having window function. That is the only difference. I will go to the elaborate uh, discussion in the next class about uh, what are the functions, what are the, these uh, tri windows are present, how to use them. Okay. So I will stop here. Okay. Thank you.